groundwork came through last night, man, to kind of clarify this position on the issue that we were talking about. He just said, I'm more so talking about the people that will make a bill with 99 steel because it's OP. Then when it gets patched and balanced out, they complain and cry about how their bill now sucks and now they wasted money. Patches usually only bring more balance. So I can't imagine anyone being upset other than those who made a bill to take advantage of something that's broken. Really tired of those people. And the last thing that they deserve is a, is a chance to redo their bill. Nonetheless, a respect system will never happen. We already showed them that we were willing to, uh, that we're willing to make our bills over again. And I said, yeah, it, it, it won't, uh, but it would be nice to adapt to the changes in the game as they happen. I always, I'm always going to agree uh, side with the consumer on issues like this and that's the end of it man that's just it, it is what it is glad that we can that we can talk about that and uh you know get clarification and, and see where each person stands on it. i'm not gonna lie to you though one thing i do disagree with is when he's saying that patches normally only bring balance to the game because i i'm, I'm, I'm just gonna keep it a stack with you my dog um i don't know which 2ks you're playing but I, I can't tell you when patches have brought balance to the game like even when they even when they it's, it's like they are meant to i get the the intention is to bring stability and uh and you know balance to the game but it hardly ever happens they said they took out speed boosting last year to try to balance the game and then they took out the steals and then it just became the game was just completely unbalanced it did something to counterbalance the game like you couldn't even get a steal after that and then um and then you know speed boosting wasn't gone they just took it off of one move like which was the main move that they talked so the intention is always there but it rarely is ever successful in uh in actually being in actually balancing out the game but i definitely understand what you're saying that they try to bring it more to a middle ground and that's what they mean to do but it's just crazy because we understand these thresholds and then we you know it just doesn't happen but hey Glad that we come to come to some common ground on that. I can get a better understanding of what he was talking about. And again, I got nothing but love and respect for Don Work since I started watching him a few years ago. But before we get started, man, make sure y'all like the video and comment dime down below. That's gonna do a couple of things for y'all. Number one, every single Friday we give away $50 in VC Cash App, but we give away a copy of a video game, whether it be, uh, whether it be uh what you know, whatever you want. It's gotta be the extra regular edition, bro. You're not you're not getting you're not getting direct TV uh you know with the game or whatever this is what what are they giving us uh they're giving us with the with the 2k that we got um uh nba league pass off me i'm just not about to happen that's number one number two if we can average 8k views we're doing a great job of doing that every i mean we giving away a next gen console i will whether it be an xbox a playstation 500 bucks or a pc last but not least the bots are down there sometimes they're down there man make sure y'all ignore them bots bro because the bots are down there trying to tell y'all I'm on Telegram and I'm putting my phone number down there. I'm not doing any of that. I'm on Instagram, Twitter, Black Planet, and the Tiki Taki. Make sure y'all follow me on those joints, man. Also, we got the new channel. I'm gonna leave a link that to that down in the description. If you like sports and constant sports updates and stuff like that, go over there and subscribe. If you don't like real sports, don't go subscribe. It's really that simple, man, because the way that YouTube is, if you go over there and you subscribe, but you don't watch the video, that hurts me as much as not having to subscribe if that makes sense because they're going to push it out to the people that subscribe first if you don't rock with it then they're not going to do it that's why i like the 2k content never really goes that far because i got like nine i got like 60,000 call of duty fans uh you know subs they're not going to watch the 2k stuff so if you guys don't hit the like it's not going to get out of there and with all that out of the way good morning out there 2k land man bro i wanted to, i wanted to ask y'all something bro because this is something that um this is something that I wanted to ask y'all, bro. And uh, I don't know how my voice was that whole time because I had it on the wrong mixer. But this is something I wanted to ask y'all. What 2K are you playing? And uh, I understand because I was thinking about this last night. And I was thinking that Diamond I, and I would like to get Diamond on the show if we can do that. You know, Diamond, if you want to holler, you know, we play two different 2Ks. I play a wreck. I mean, even though we both play wreck, he plays more with randoms and by himself a little a solo game right so i can understand why a lot of the things that are annoying to him i probably they're not even annoying to me at all conversely i play a more team-centric wreck we play five man stacks in the wreck and so i could understand uh I'm, I'm sure that he can understand why things that we don't see as a problem at all they they are a problem to him and then you guys a lot of you guys play park with random so y'all play random park 
So it's like it's really a lot of games. Y'all play random parking theater. And so things that y'all see is a big issue, we don't see at all. Like last year when y'all were talking about the steals, we we're like, bro, we don't even see the steals as being an issue because we were in the park. Then when we came to the wreck, we we're like, oh my goodness, it is it is crazy in here. You can't even dribble the basketball because two people blitzing you and they're gonna give them the steal, right? Then uh, but we play park with the team. So some people play park uh, solo, some people play park team. So it's like, which one of those games is the real 2K and what should they be solving for when they're trying to balance the game? Because if you're trying to balance the game for 5v5, the things that you're gonna try to balance the game for are gonna be very different than the things you're gonna be trying to balance the game for if you're trying to balance the game for 3v3. And like I said, the people, that I would think that the overwhelming majority of the people in the community don't have a team and they don't play with anybody. So they're gonna have a, dis a distinctly different experience than someone like myself who plays with the team pretty much all the time. That's why I do the raising with randoms. That's why I go out there and I play by myself and stuff so I can understand the game from you guys standpoint that don't have a team because Jesus, bro, when you don't have a team, it is like, I, I mean, it's like chaos. Now in the beginning of the game, it was like control chaos because at least they couldn't just sprint around, sprint around, sprint around. Now that they've taken the adrenaline off of sprinting around, bro, you go into the wreck, or you go in the park or something, you're trying to find the space. All I'm trying to do is find an open spot. And it's like somebody's constantly running into my open spot when I'm playing by myself. Conversely, we never really have that issue when we're playing our five stacks because everybody knows where to go. Everybody goes to their spot. The, there's plenty of move, uh, plenty of room all over the floor and everything is good to go. So steals, we might not have seen that that was a big issue because at one point, the only time that you were gonna really get a steal or you know have a lot of steal issues was when two people are in the area of the ball. And when two people in the area of the ball, that ball had like nearly 100% tangibility, they were gonna take it. And so when you're playing a five stack, you're not gonna notice that as much because you got spacing. You're playing four corners. We, they say five out, we used to call it four corners. Whatever. I don't I don't know. You, you call it whatever. You call it your mama call it clay, I'ma call it clay. We call it four corners. So you go four corners and then you got all the you have all the room in the world. The only time the two people are ever gonna be able to get there is a pinch or somebody crosses you. Conversely, when you're playing, um when you're playing by yourself, people are crossing you all the time. When we when we end up playing end up playing a five stack, you're very rarely gonna see somebody throwing a, cr a crazy scary pass because we are aware of what we got. We know what our players can do, and we know what we we know you know what we're standing and all of that. But when people are constantly crossing each other, I can definitely see how it would feel like uh, interceptions are very op because people are throwing scary passes. You feel like every time your teammate throws a pass, he's throwing it away. You understand what I'm saying? I understand how y'all can say if you're playing randoms. If you play with randoms, mostly you you feel like there was no paint defense and that paint defense was abysmal because when you're playing with uh, randoms, everybody's playing there and you just running behind your man. Maybe he's cutting to the rim. He just keep dunking. He just keep dunking in your face. We're not going to see that because when we play, we normally gonna come in there, we're gonna play zone. And even if we don't play zone, if they go four corners or they go five out, then what we're gonna do, we're still gonna rotate. Our rotations are gonna be on point. So you're gonna be smoking a lot of dunks or you're gonna get a lot of, we're gonna get a lot of blocks. Or if the guy goes down there and posts up, he, you know, we gonna give help and we can rotate and we can swing. If you're just playing random stuff, a lot of times the center just go stands in the paint and he just stands there. And when he's standing in the paint, you just can't do anything about it. The ball's gonna carry him to the rim. He gonna dunk on you. So. I'm just one the question the, the thing that I'm trying to say is what do you guys feel like is the real 2K? Is it the randoms when you're playing with randoms? Is that's what because that's what most people experience? Is that what they should be trying to solve for? Or should they be trying to solve for the five people get per five player game? And if they solve for the five player game, will it filter down to the randoms uh properly? Or should they do it for the randoms? Because if they do it solving for the randoms, then it will naturally filter to the five player game. Meaning if, if they buff paint defense, if they take steals down some, if they make it so the double teams aren't as effective and all of that, then that helps out the randoms. So all these people that play the random rec or random side of the game, so that will help them out. They, they improve ball security and they do all that. Then it, then it will by proxy improve the game for the five stacks. Or do you feel like, uh, they should, they should make it so that, I mean, you know, just kind of leave it alone and, you know, it's good. Because in the beginning, I felt like it was almost perfectly tweaked for, for five's gameplay. But now it's going more toward the way where it's like, uh, you know, it's just more, it's more non-team oriented friendly. I know people hate when I say randoms, but 
it, it's just randoms because we're all randoms when we go in there by ourselves. So is is it more is it more team? If they make a more team centric game, it's going to be harder. A teamwork, a more IQ centric, all that stuff. It's going to be very difficult for you to play this game by yourself because you're not going to be able to carry. But conversely, if they make it to where one person can carry the game then in the team centric game i mean i guess it could be okay but it's just gonna be hard to stop that one person now and you're gonna have to put two person two people on and you're gonna have to commit more resources to that guy and it's just gonna be a very difficult uh task i guess it is what it is i just don't know man but what do y'all think is the real game is it the team oriented game that's that's the real game or is it the uh the non-team oriented the random gameplay that's more uh, the real game and then is it fives should they balance it more for fives or should they balance it more for the parking uh stuff like that because that is the main thing but the also thing other thing that we have to keep in mind is that a lot of people play my team and that is like fives kind of but then at the same time you know you got uh quick play and all that so that is five so like anything that they any change they make i feel like they don't have the ability to make the change per mode so literally any changes that they make they're going to impact the entire game so it's, I, I think that's where our biggest issue is. The community is super split, and it's like you know, people playing five game fives, and then people actually playing pro am. It's gonna be even even deeper, uh, deeper level there. So y'all, let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. What should they be trying to solve for? Should they just try to make it make it better on? on the majority of the community which is just you know randoms and then we just got to figure it out if we play uh if you're playing teams uh because you still should be able to do what you what you want to do if they do that or should they just make it for more team play and then people just got to have more iq and try to figure it out but i'm gonna tell you straight up with a lot of these randoms it, it just ain't no iq bro it just it's just it's not they make their crazy bills and that's why i want down work to advocate for this man we need these people there's a lot of people out here with these ass meals bro they need to make that shit over they need to man but hey y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section man i'm gonna holler at y'all next time till next time it's your boy jay easy aka fresh from the barbershop bk the people's champ Gosh, baby.